Westy here, part two of my line motor bearing replacement. Okay, what we need to do here is uh, we've got some bearings. I actually found that the um, 450 Heli main, uh, T Rex main shaft bearings fit for the small end, and uh, which is um, this one is the it's, it's actually a 685ZZ, which is an HS 1028T got four of those for about seven bucks New Zealand and I managed to pick up some um, 686 ZZs which are um, 6 by 13 by 5s and that goes down into the can and now I've cleaned out all the all the um, old uh, bearing lock out with some um, isopropylene now um, I'm going to start putting them back together again, but just to make sure you guys don't make this mistake, um, with a bearing, if it's going, if the actual outside surface of that bearing is actually going to be sitting in an interference fit, which is going into the bottom of that can, you do not want to be hitting or impacting on the inside race of the balls, or you actually shatter the balls or damage the actual rolling rolling race. So what you've got to do, you've got to actually get a, some sort of device to hold the outside of it, and preferably if you, you can use a press, but if you're absolutely 100% sure that you're not going to be actually putting any load at all while you're actually putting that bearing in on the inner race, because your interference fit's going to be on the outer race, then you, you'll be alright. So in this case I'm using a 10mm um, a tube socket with a extension, and that fits perfectly around the outside and it's not going to be actually touching on the inside at all so it won't be actually putting any loading at all on the um, inner race so um, yeah definitely uh, it's better definitely better to use a press or an arbor or even a drill press which I'm going to do um, and I'm going to set that up very shortly and um, I'm just going to press this bearing into here. I'm going to put a bit of um, bearing retainer on the outside, not too much. You just put a, little, put a little bit, and then be careful when you put it into place. You want to make sure that you're not um, getting the bearing retainer on the, on the, any of the races at all. It will soak in and actually seize the bearing up. Okay, so I'll set the arbor up and away we go. Okay, I'm just going to put some bearing retainer on the bearing, out of bearing race. make sure you don't use too much and if you do use too much it says it's on my fingers now I'm going to actually carefully remove my finger without smearing it in and wipe that off because you do not want that into the race at all so I'm just gonna sit that into I'll get my little shaft here And I'm just going to offer that into the housing. Like so. Once that's sitting in there, I should be able to put that in my arbor and press that down into place. So I'll just do that now. You don't need to know how to exactly do that because it's pretty easy um, I'm just going to use a drill press and um, press the shaft in to press that bearing in or you can use this method here and just use a, a mandrel or some sort of device that is, is is on the outside diameter of the bearing I've got my bearing in place now and I've wiped any residue that was on coming on the outside off from any of the thread uh, the bearing retainer I've put in there okay that's very important so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the canister into place we 
One thing to check though before you do that, because you may need a shaft replacement if it's worn too bad, down here where the shaft is in contact with the bearing, if you've got wear in there, you've got to replace this shaft. Same with it, because which means if you've had a seized bearing and it's worn the shaft out, well I've actually picked this up before it's damaged. Um, it's cleaned up quite nicely, so now I can just drop the canister into place carefully. And it spins nice and freely in there. Right, so now what we need to do is work on the other side and put in the top half of the of the unit. So we've got our wiring and, and windings, the armature here, and we've got to put these back through. Um, sometimes you can't get these out, so um, we need to put these back through here one at a time. Okay, and then we get our little bearing. And we're going to put some bearing retainer on the outside of that. And we're going to put it into this housing here. You've got to be very careful because you don't want to be sitting these windings on anything hard and impacting it because you'll break these wires and you do not want that to happen because it'll be the throwaway motor basically or you'll have to get it rewound um, so yeah I'll put I'll put some bearing retainer on on here um, on, on the bearing and then I'll get that into place and then we'll um, put it in got my bearing retainer on and it's a little bit much, so I'll give it a little bit of a wipe. Just, just a slight wipe around the outside. Okay, and then I'm going to push this into place, hopefully. And that's slotted in there nicely. And give it a good wipe without getting it its um okay so once you've got that cleaned up like so get your um three in one oil and put a couple of drops in there that should give you a nice it there and then basically what we need to do here is put a bit of retainer on the outside of this ring here and then this housing goes back into place Just like so. And then this housing goes back through. It can be quite tricky to get it through anyway. Because you've got to get through this shrink tube and everything. That's it. And then lined up and tap this into place
Okay, and once that's into place, you can screw it all back together with a bit of thread lock on the threads. Okay, when it's seated in place like so, you can now apply some thread lock onto the thread, but sit it in place first. So carefully insert it, but gra grab it quite tight because the magnets in this can will actually pull. So hold the shaft at the bottom, like so, tight with your thumb and forefinger because it'll pull and keep your fingers out of the way of the thread. So hold it like that sort of thing because if it pinches, man, it's going to hurt. And so, what, and these magnets are really strong and it'll pull it down. So we need to just back it out a little wee bit. Well, you can do it the other way. You can actually put the put the can on like so. Don't spin it like that though. And then we're going to get a um, bit of thread lock. And I'll just put a little dab here. And then one on the other side. Put, your, put the shaft in the can in. Carefully line it up with the bearing. Okay, now we can do it up. With our T-bar. Once you've got it in ready to tighten up, you put it back in the vise and tweak it up. Pull your pins out. Ready to go. Just get a rag and uh, where you've screwed it in, the ca ca cavity back in again, the canister back in. Just get a rag down the slots here and just pick up any bits of dregs that it's washed down into the bottom of it. Or even better, if you've got an air gun, blow it out. Which is what I'll be doing. There you go, there's my ear gun. <laughs> Alright. So now we just need to fire that up and it's ready to go.